Just 21 days until Christmas, the celebration's on, mm -hmm. but it has not been without controversy. Possible disruptions caused Garner to pull the plug. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman live in Wake Forest where town leaders plan to move forward with the parade there. Bridget. Yeah, the sons and daughters of the Confederacy have floats in several parades in our area, including right here in Wake Forest. The parade route is right here where I'm standing. And although there's been some controversy, I found out why this parade means so much to this community. At Sweetie's Candy Shop, they're gearing up for one of Wake Forest's biggest sugar rushes of the year. It's one of our biggest events, and we get a lot of visitors. Owner Darlene Strahd says the Christmas parade is one of their best times for visibility. We've got everything that you need to fix your gingerbread house. Which is why she was worried when she heard Garner canceled its annual parade. Very concerned, very concerned. Kept watching the Wake Forest downtown page to see any announcements or anything was going on. Garner town leaders canceled theirs after citing concerns for a disruption. CBS 17 found out it was due to social media posts regarding the sons and daughters of the Confederacy having a float in the parade. Out of safety and for just the, the image of Garner, that's not what we wanted to portray, so uh, we thought it would be best to cancel the parade. The decision upset community members who awaited the celebration. <laughs> Wake Forest town leaders say the Sons and Daughters of the Confederacy has participated peacefully for more than two decades in its parade. The town said in a statement, it's extremely sensitive to the emotion the Confederate flag stirs among those on both sides of the issue, adding there's no legal basis for excluding the group from the parade. The statement goes on to say they hope this can be an opportunity to come together and celebrate what people have in common rather than what divides them. I think that would be sad if they canceled it um, because I think everybody looks forward to it. A lot of people telling me today they're looking forward to that parade next weekend. Now, Wake Forest town leaders say they expect to have more information on for, uh, for us on all of this tomorrow. Live in Wake Forest, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.